the taxes that we collect from our customer is called output value added tax and the taxes that we pay to our supplier is called input value added tax and at the end of every tax period the store has to make a report showing the amount of taxes we have collected from our customers and the amount of taxes we have paid to our suppliers and the difference that we have to pay to the government the tax code i'm going to select as input tax code 10 percent and then to calculate the taxes you have two options you can either select this checkbox calculate tax or you can put the tax amount manually here the tax code automatically comes from the header you can have multiple line items in the same invoice so you can select different tax codes here this is the financial entry i'm going to post so we have a credit to the supplier for 1100 and we have a debit to other expenses account this one and we have a debit to the input tax account 100 we have output taxes 4,949 and we have input taxes 1,806 so the balance is 3,143 and this is the amount you have to submit to the government for example the input taxes is calculated based on the step 100 base amount and this is very helpful if you have different taxes applied for example for sales tax we usually have a sales tax and we have a value added tax so should, be, should the value added tax be calculated before the sales tax or after? So this is how SAP knows how to calculate each tax. So for example, if we go to DE, Germany, then it is assigned to 0TXD. So this is the one we used. As you see, the tax type is input tax. And then the input tax field is filled with 10%. To display the accounts we are going to use for taxes, you can click on tax accounts. So this is our input tax GL account.